Chill Friday vibes, TGIF, time for some weekend fun. But let's first ride into social media to find out what's trending today across Africa. So after a long break from music, world famous music star Rihanna has made a big comeback with Lift Me Up. Oh my goodness. The lead single from the upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever original soundtrack. Now more exciting about this is the fact that Nigerian singer Tent is one of the writers of the song. Blow me away. In her announcement on Instagram, Thames wrote, blessed to have written this song in honor of Chadwick Boseman and even more blessed to hear the baddest at Bad Girl Riri voice it to perfection. Perfection indeed. Now Rihanna acknowledged Thames for co-writing her new record and social media has been giving Thames her flowers. Let's turn in. At Anonymous Kali 2 says, Thames Grace is out of this world. Within this past year, she has gotten her voice sampled by Drake and Future, co write for Beyonce, and now Rihanna. She is simply blessed. We Nigerians need to appreciate her talent. She is already a mega star. And that's on period. <laughs> Alarm Media Official says, Thames is far gone. I mean, she's one of the most sought after artists in the world right now. Wins upon wins from every angle. She's so lucky and blessed and we are proud to have her in this continent. Damsin Tzu says, Thames within few years in the industry already has a trademark sound. Her signature was all over Rihanna's Lift Me Up, <sighs> please. She's Nigeria's first female global music phenomenon. Now, if you have not heard, new Naira notes will be released in December in Nigeria, and many people online are divided about this decision. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Imefile, announced that the bank plans to launch new designs of the 100 Naira, 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira notes and start disbursing by December 15, 2022. He also said that existing notes would cease to be regarded as legal tender by January 31, 2023. Now, one of the reasons for this is that Nigeria is faced by a worsening shortage of clean bank notes with increased risk to financial stability, and Nigerians on social media have shared their opinion on this decision. Let's see. At Puja Media says, CBN is not talking about relief or inter intervention funds to the flooded state, but announcing a redesign of weak Naira notes. Misplaced priorities. That's their opinion. And at First Ladyship says, Godwin Emefiele destroyed the Naira. Hmm. However, redesigning the 200, 500, and 1,000 notes will force politicians to either spend their Naira hidden in houses and septic tanks or bank them by force. Now, CBN governor got the policy right, but the Naira is 752 Naira, so it's still a sabotage. That's what she says. And Daniel, famous Daniel on Twitter says, back in the days, one can prepare a good pot of stew with just 500 Naira. But now, you can't even prepare spaghetti with 1,000 Naira. That's to show you how far Naira has fallen. But Emefile and the CBN want to redesign Naira notes. Instead of looking for ways to boost our currency, it's pathetic, says Daniel. We move now to Ghana, where Twips are talking about former president John Mahama's recent speech where he offered solutions to the government on economic crisis. Addressing Ghana on Thursday night, John Mahama said President Akufuado's failure to reshuffle his ministers and marshal his arsenals to fix the economy has compounded the current economic woes. Now, Ghanaians on social media have been talking about this speech and comparing it to what President Akufuado would have done. Let's see some of them. There's this one from Sam Ablakwa. It takes exceptional qualities and extraordinary love for countries for an opposition leader not to gloat, not to engage in petty payback politics, and not to incite an uprising in the midst of an unrivaled, poor leadership-induced economic crisis. Former President John Mahama is an inspiration. That's what he thinks. Now, what does De Dr. Amos Mensah think? He says, in these difficult times of economic hardship, the president went on tour to insult and infuriate Ghanaians. His village chief insults our mothers for complaining. Yesterday, John Mahama spoke hope and united Ghana. And we have this comment that says, Ghanaians need inspirational leaders to speak solutions that have to be implemented as soon as possible for rapid economic relief and not just words, but action implementation. That's what they need as soon as possible. And that's all for tonight on NC Trends. My name is Sean Bankoli. Have a great weekend.